Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stadium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take all it resonates. Ace of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Mm. And someone is, they feel lonely. It's like someone who is, they, they need you back in their life. That's the kind of energy here. This person isn't really feeling, a, a, this person is feeling very down in the low. They're not exactly in their, um, in a good place energetically or emotionally this person is not in a good place in reverse king of cups mm. it's like someone who's craving your attention this person is in a lot of pain the ten of swords five of pentacles this person is in a lot of pain and they do not feel confident at all this person is in like very low self-esteem low confidence right now but they do have a lot of emotions and feelings with the king of cups here and this is someone who wants to express their emotions and feelings here the two of pentacles in reverse it's like someone who's finding it very difficult to uh, keep down all of those emotions like bottle those emotions up this person is finding it very difficult to do that and they want to express these emotions here But with the six of wands in reverse, this person is not, they do not have really high hopes that you are going to give them another chance, that this is going to work out between the both of you. They don't have high, uh, high hopes of that. They are not sure that they're going to have the victory they want here. And this person is emotionally, they are not really balanced right now. Emotionally, this person is imbalanced. This person could be going through a really tough time here. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. This person might be feeling, um, th this person could have been betrayed by someone else or like could be anyone. This person got betrayed by, they are feeling a lot of pain here. They are lacking the confidence, they don't really have the confidence. This person also could be going through a lot of emotional highs and lows right now. and the strength at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with uh, Leo here some of you you do want to like um, you do want to communicate with this person you do want to talk to this person you do want to uh, say something you have something to say to this person or you want to say something to this person here but you're just holding back from this person here even though you might want to say something you're not really saying it you are holding back here
some of you, you still have a lot of compassion for this person. You might hear the kids playing in the background. I'm not going to take that. Swords. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Judgment at the bottom of the deck, be dealing with a Scorpio. you do have a desire to communicate with this person you do want to talk to this person here like clear some things out or something here you want to do something for some of you have been really really stressed here you have you have been overthinking about whatever happened or overthinking about whatever this person did or did not do for some of you this is this is what I'm getting with the strength here you have a lot of compassion and uh, you feel strongly for this person or you do have a lot of compassion for this person so you tried your best to hold a space for this person here because you thought that this person will eventually they will find the strength or courage to do something eventually they'll take some action here eventually they will do something But it's an energy of uh, you have you really have exhausted yourself waiting for this person or exhausted yourself holding space for this person hoping that this person will change eventually or they will do something about this connection of wands so look at that ace of pentacles ace of wands in this person's energy so emotional this person really wants a new beginning and this person is thinking of this new beginning as well here so emotional this person really doesn't have the courage to approach you they, they are very scared for some of you this, it's very possible this person was someone who didn't express to your to you at all their heart was very blocked they were someone who was emotionally not expressive at all so emotionally this person is afraid to open up, afraid to express their emotions because they feel a lot. The king of cups is someone who feels a lot but also the king of cups will bottle everything up. So it's very possible this person is not used to expressing their feelings, expressing their emotions and because this person is feeling a lot of emotional highs and lows, they are finding it very difficult to find the courage to do something here their heart is very scared of this person could be scared of getting hurt as well here also this person is very scared that if they get their hopes high then they will be getting disappointed you know like this person doesn't want to get their hopes high here because they feel that if they get their hopes high then they will be uh, and you reject them or this doesn't work out then they will be disappointed a lot more they will be hurt a lot more it's like this person is feeling like they are going to be hurt more than you would. It's going to hurt them more than it would hurt you. I don't know why, but that's how this person feels. Some of you, it's very possible this person has been, they have some deep abandonment issues to begin with. 
because we did have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so they do have some deep abandonment issues to begin with of cups two of cups and the nine of pentacles came out again it's already at the bottom of the deck here yeah and look at that four and nine of pentacles five of pentacles in the mix again the five of pentacles energy again as much as the desire in you beginning with you with two aces in this person's energy at the same time this person is they are holding back with the six of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles the reason this person is holding back it's because they don't feel like it's going to work out. It's, it's very possible in the past things did not work out between the both of you. So now this person is thinking, well, it didn't work out in the past. So uh, how, do, how can you expect me to get my hopes, like get high hopes that things are going to work out? I don't know how to feel hopeful that things will work out here. I don't know, like this person for some of you, whatever conflict there was with the five of swords here, there was some conflict, some argument, some uh, deceptive energy was there uh, with this person here and this person doesn't know how they can come out of it, how they can come out of it and things will work out between the both of you. This is not someone who is running high on hopes. Ten of wands here, very overwhelmed. This person is extremely emotional, this person is just overwhelmed. Nine of King of Pentacles, sorry, not King of Pentacles, sorry. King of Cups and Nine of Pentacles and that's the energy. This is someone, for some of you, this person is used to being single. The, the idea of commitment, the idea of being in love and trusting someone completely. And with the Two of Cups and the King of Cups, giving your cup of love to someone. Knowing that that person will now have the... Like that person will be able to hurt you the most. That is what scares this person. For some of you, it's very possible every time this person caught emotions, it's not just with you, every time this person caught emotions, they just ran away from it. Because nine of pentacles, I would much rather, I'm happy being single, I would much rather be single and self-sufficient. I don't want to depend on someone. This person could be used to codependent connections. That's the reason why this person feels like uh, being in a relationship or being in a connection means depending on someone. It's, it's not depending on someone. I want to be independent. I want to be stable. Four and nine of pentacles. It's very possible for some of you this person had has had some financial issues as well in the past in their childhood yeah this person really it's very possible either they already have low self-esteem or right now they have it Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Strength, Three of Swords, The Magician.
yeah look at that nine of pentacles three of swords for some of you it's very possible because this person got feelings for you they ran away and started giving to another situation another person they were flirting with someone else they were talking to someone else they were meeting up with someone else here that's what happened and that really really broke your heart because well who would like to be put in a third party situation and for some of you with the knight of swords and three of swords you really could have rushed into this connection it's like you didn't quite understand that this person was not emotionally very open they were not really emotionally uh, ready to give to someone they're not you could have felt a lot of attraction to this person with this person here you felt very strong connection with this person felt very strongly for them or were very attracted here it was simply just a lot of attraction between the both of you and there was a lot of co communication and conversations a lot of bantering between the both of you flirting definitely want to reconcile with this person here you do want reconciliation with this person but again it's like two of wands you want reconciliation you are willing to work things out with this person here but this person has to do something as well and for some of you that's what you have been doing you were really waiting for this person for some reconciliation for some um, uh, communication from this person's side but that didn't happen and again the strength here so whatever desire you uh, we saw the strength when we saw the four of swords in reverse right so this is the second time you're seeing the strength in your energy and also the strength is divine feminine because that is the empress on the strength card so for some of you it's that energy if you want to re you can't reconciliation with this person you want to communicate with this person you want to sort things out with this person but at the same time you are very aware of that you are the divine feminine you shouldn't be just chasing this person if they want to uh, reconcile with you they have to show some interest they have to communicate they have to tell you that you can't be the only one chasing around this person that you want reconciliation because it's very possible in the past you did uh, it was well, exactly not chase but you were very vocal about what you want what you feel about them what you want with them what you want to happen between the both of you and that might have scared this person away and you don't want to do that you don't want to be pursuing this person or uh, be the first one to communicate with this person and try to make things work out because you do deserve an apology with the three of swords right you do deserve a proper offer Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorp Cancer, Scorpio. This person is a very slow-moving person, and the reason they are very slow-moving is simply because they they are not sure what they are doing. This person is not sure. They are not sure if they should follow their heart. or if they should just keep being whoever they used to be 
single, just dating around, looking around, not being serious. As soon as they catch feelings, they run. As soon as the other person gets serious, they run. So initially it could have started like, it was great, it was amazing. A lot of flirting between the both of you, things were going good. But then, as soon as you started getting serious here, or, or you expressed uh, what you truly want from this person or this connection, this person, they sort of like, they took a step back. Pisces or a Cancer and the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So we have the Ace of Wands repeated twice in this person's energy. Yeah, the Moon again. See, Six of Wands in reverse, Four of Pentacles and the Moon. The fears. The fears, the subconscious fears, the past traumas, the past woundings, the whatever happened in the past. That just keeps bothering this person here. But they miss you, they feel a strong connection with you with the Six of Cups. You already had the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. You already saw the, also saw the Two of Cups in this person's energy. And the Knight of Pentacles repeated twice here. This person is moving very, very slowly. And the reason this person, they, they will make a move, they want to make a move, but they are moving very slowly because of that moon energy here. Because of that fear that, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how uh, this is going to work out, whether this is going to work out, if this is going to work out. So this is that energy with this person. This person uh, takes five steps forward and then they take four steps backward. So it's a very slow moving energy with this person here. This person is trying to be as careful as possible with their own heart and emotions. And it's also what I'm getting like some days this person can't even find the courage to think about this, think about being vulnerable. And other days this person just, you know, like micro baby steps or something. courageous you do have the courage you do have the strength and when you want something you don't hold back you go after that so for some of you you're actually you know because this person is not doing anything because for some of you you're really exhausted and burnt out and uh, you have stressed yourself enough thinking about if this person will do something or not you do feel lonely. You did or you did. I mean, I could be tapping into a past energy, a present energy, or a future energy. You have exha exhausted yourself thinking about whether, whether this person is going to do something or not. You have, for some of you, have also exhausted in yourself to waiting for this person. And you feel like you just can't keep waiting around for this person. You have to keep moving forward. And keep moving forward doesn't mean you choose another person and just start dating. No, at least you have to choose yourself and explore. You are, after all, a Sagittarius. Ex expansion is your thing. So for some of you, you're choosing to, uh, choosing a new direction here. You're choosing to choose a new direction.
three of cups. The hermit at the bottom of the deck. As I just said, like you do feel lonely. You have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. You do miss this person. You do think about this person. But at the same time, you're choosing not to wait around for this person here. Yeah. With the tower in reverse, uh, you want stability in your life. You do want stability. You do want stable connections. You do want stable relationships. Not the kind of connections, not the kind of relationship that just falls apart. Ten and three of cups, seven of cups in the mix. For some of you, because you feel very confused about this person, like, I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know where this is going or if this is going to happen or if this person is going to take any action whatsoever. So I can't just sit sit and wait more for this person. I'm wasting my time here. I'm wasting my energy. And you shouldn't actually be ever waiting around for a person. So you're choosing to take control back of your life and move forward. For some of you, you are just um, in, in that energy of maybe this was not meant to work out with the tower in reverse. Maybe this disaster was supposed to happen. And it's never going to work out or th this person is like things are done between the both of us. So you're just trying to focus on uh, your happiness here. The Ten of Cups and Three of Cups. You want to be surrounded by people who make you happy. Surrounded by uh, people who genuinely want to build with you. Ten of Cups is mutual happiness and that's what you're manifesting with the magician in the Ten of Cups here. And you're leaving it on the universe, destiny, whatever. Like if it's if it's supposed to be, it will. I, I'm not going to sit around and bother. Also not to mention, look at that. We really didn't have any Cups card here. Here we finally see some cups card in your energy. So you might have emotionally detached from this person for some of you. Or you exhausted yourself uh, waiting for this person, thinking about this person to the point that you decided the only thing to do right now is to emotionally detach from this person. And that's what you did here. So some of you are choosing to... You are going to date as well here. You're looking for other options as well. Because we have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups. So you could be looking at other options. You could be thinking of dating again. Just trying to move on from this person. Moving on from this person. Letting this go. Like keeping your expectations as, as low as possible here. Or not expecting anything at all trying to be someone who's not expecting anything at all here deck here so we do have three aces the ace of pentacles the ace of wands and the ace of cups in this person's energy and all the aces are from the same deck even this uh, this person uh, they really want this new beginning with the ace of cups again they really want this new beginning but this person just can't release this four of cups and the ten of wands energy stressing out being feeling overwhelmed, reevaluating everything. I don't know, I don't know. Um, whenever I start feeling something, I get stressed, I get overwhelmed. Even though they want this new beginning, this person is just keep holding themselves back from doing anything here.
some of this person could be going through a rude awakening as well here with the tower and that's the reason why this person just they are not functioning well and yeah bottom of the deck is four of pentacles ace of cups and four of pentacles they want this new beginning but they're just holding themselves back from doing this we already have the four of pentacles once in this person's energy ace of wands four of pentacles ace of cups four of pentacles they just won't move they just won't budge they just won't do anything here even though they want to three aces they want this but this person has a lot of work to do well that's your reading sagittarius i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in the next reading until then take care guys bye bye